Hey, Orange One here. We're going to be going over the uh, Asari board game of Sega. So a little tip just to help you guys out with these seats here. Um, the Asari, they've got these weird cushions that are kind of hard to get F to uh, trigger on. So if you go in first person, it's a little bit easier. And also it's a little bit easier to select the game host if you're in first person. Um, so just hit R to get into that first person. Okay, so for Sega, basically this game is its kind of like a checkers, like a variant of that. We're going to go on hard, because um, that's really what you want to be playing these games at. We'll let him start, because that will give him the advantage on um, placements here. But then I'll get to make the first move, which usually, usually works out in your favor. Now I've got these two pieces here. And they've got those two pieces there, which I don't know if that's intended because it doesn't really match with the colors here. But basically, your goal here is you can move uh, in one direction, one tile at a time. And you want to get it so you're on two sides of the enemy piece, and that removes it from the board. You can do this little combo move here. Um, but you have to be directly next to them. And if you move in between two enemy units, doesn't matter, it's fine. You're okay. You're not going to lose your own piece. Um, you can either win by making them only have one, or you can win by creating this like wall, essentially. So let's go ahead and dive into it, and we'll we'll try out this placement. I mean, this game really is a game of strategy. The placement, though, is pretty dang important, so uh, keep that in mind. We're going to want to ideally get him to put another one down there, but I want to get one of the one of the, I want to get this guy essentially so I can move that over. Um, I'm gonna just lock that down, yeah, so that I got the centerpiece because I had a feeling that they were gonna move that there. Now I'm going for these edges. It doesn't work out every single time. Sometimes they interrupt you, but it's nice to create those. Um, just gives you a little bit more control essentially. Um, in one one spot of the of the map. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move you here. And that's gonna take out the two there. And then you've gone and moved one there. That was a respectable move. Um, but now I've got an advantage. Now it doesn't always happen this way. I actually tried to record this previously and they <laughs> they moved in one way that got them so it was two to two. But if you get um only losing one and they've lost two right here, you already have an extremely high advantage. Like, you really shouldn't lose after this point. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Basically, at this point, you have a huge number advantage. Um, you want to kind of limit their mobility in some ways um, and make it so that they haven't got good opportunities to take your pieces. So I've already created like a little wall here. Um, there's a couple options. I can try and kind of get behind them, um, which is going to be kind of a pain. But, oh, actually, oh, geez, I didn't see that. Um, I can do stuff like this. And then, like, I can just kind of chip away at them. And there's not really a whole lot that they can do. And um, I actually already won the game. Because I had that line there and I had more pieces. So let's do another game just to kind of um, just kind of show off that one more time. Because that was a pretty quick game. I might just show off a couple games just to show a couple moves that you might do. I'm just going to get the corners first. And then we'll work on getting the, the, the walls. Uh, this looks pretty good here. Actually, sorry. I need to get that. Um, because they're going to then get those two in those two spots. That will be nice for us. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do a whole lot more there. And we'll go like here. Perfect. And then we'll take that. And we've got a couple people kind of in enemy territory, so to speak. But I think that we can work with that. Okay, so they've gone and taken that dude out. Um, this dude's about to get taken out, essentially. There's not really much that I can do about that, unfortunately. Like, I can move him here, but then one of those dudes is going to move over and take him out. I think we might have to just kind of throw that piece away. It's kind of a goner. Not, not really anything I can do to, 
to help him out. Yeah, unfortunately, he's he's a goner. Um, we can definitely do that though. Get them. Um, and we are kind of hurting right now. Um, I'm gonna try and see if I can. Yeah, we can get this dude. Take him out. And then I'm gonna see about. Let's close up on them just a little bit more. Um. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I think that we've got an opportunity where we can take a piece here. No. They're not gonna not gonna let me have it. Um I could move that piece up, but then he's gonna take it, is the thing. Let's get this wall just a little bit more set up. And see, then we can take this piece. And I think we're gonna lose a piece though. If if we do that, we'll lose a piece. I mean it might be worth it. Because the thing is, is I'm going to move this here, which will take that guy out. But then they're going to move that there, which will take him out. <laughs> um, I don't have to do it, so I think I'm not going to. Yeah. Uh, oh, look, we have, a, we have a move. We could take him forward to take you out. I think that I want to do that because I can take you out. That opens that up. And then they're going to move them, but that and this one's open. So, yeah, let's do that. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Good for you, I guess. Um, let's move him. No, we can't move you back, unfortunately. So he's probably going to get taken out then. Unless I move you there. But then you're going to get taken out. So either way, we're going to lose a piece there. Um, hmm. well, all things considered, that's not the best. Uh, hmm. there, there's not really an awful lot I can do here. We're going to lose a piece. Um, let's just move you up then. Limit their options. And I'll I'll keep that one in the back there because that's a nice uh nice backdrop for us. I almost move you over, but then we would lose you. Um hmm. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot to do. We'll move you back. And maybe we could move you up there. That actually is not the worst move. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, now, I'm not really sure what to do here. I and mean, we actually have the advantage here. So I, if we move this down, do we win? No, I don't. That's weird. I think you have to be across like the midline or something. There's something going on with those rules. Um, move you up there. Maybe we'll do like so. And hey, look, we got we got a piece that we can take, but again, we're gonna lose one. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna do that. And unfortunately, we've kind of cornered them. Yeah, they're gonna take him. Oh no, they didn't actually take him. Cool. I think that we can win this if I complete the the wall. Um, but do I want to complete? Yeah, let's let's try and complete the wall. Um, I'm just kind of curious to see how this works. To be completely honest, I think that we'll complete the wall if we move you here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we had more pieces and we won. So that's the main idea with this game. It's just a matter of um, creating that wall, kind of cornering them. And if you've got more pieces that are kind of behind your line, just move them around until that you get a good opportunity. The AI, because they're impatient, they're going to make bad calls. Yeah, you start it, and we'll see what, how, this, how this goes. Um, it just, you know, it's good to see a couple different games kind of go out because um, you want to be being a little bit flexible with how you're thinking about this game. And you also want to know what to look for. 
And it's essentially setting up this initial thing, this initial cross. If you can get that first turn down, you're going to be fine. So let's see. I think we're still good. We're still good. Um, I don't want to have to place there. I'm going to keep on going like that. And if I place here, uh, I think that we're kind of relying on a 50-50 chance now. Yeah, see, they, they just messed up the thing. So if I was you, I would just not even play that. Um, honestly, it's not worth it. And you can usually play, play these games pretty quick and reliably get... Um, these things down. I'm going to actually try just locking that down just a little bit earlier. And then we'll go something like so. Yeah, that looks good to me. Nice. Okay, so that that's, that's more like why I want, because that's a good first turn for us right there. Okay, got those two. Okay, they actually also got two there. Um, but we should be able to quickly turn this around. I don't think they've got any ones that they can immediately take out. But I can take um, this one out for sure. And look, we have the advantage. So we're up one right now. Um, could take you out. And then we're going to get taken out ourselves, possibly. Yeah. Thought that would happen. And if I'll, I'll trade one for one. As long as it's like an even trade. I'm willing to do it, you know? Okay, so now we need to start working on getting that wall together. Um, so we just kind of want to... Yep. I think we may be able to even get the wall right now. Uh, is there any good opportunities for us? No. Hey, look, I already won. <laughs> See what I mean? Like, if you get that advantage and then you, you'll build up the wall, it's it's pretty good. I don't know why that one worked and the other one didn't, though. The other wall that I thought I built up early. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.